What do you want to be when you grow up? Kind, said the boy. Nothing beats kindness, said the horse. It sits quietly beyond all things. That's a quote, a couple of quotes, from one of my favourite books that I'm reading at the moment by Charlie Maxey, and it's called The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse. I want you to remember that, because I might come back to that later on. By Mr. Harrison, and it's lovely to uh, see you guys in 2R. You guys will be joining me next year in September in 3H. So I'm really, really pleased about that. I'm really looking forward to seeing you um, once we've got past these crazy times that we're living through at the moment. It's very, very strange. And as you can see, I'm kind of stuck up here in my loft, um, which is a strange place to, uh, to be spending a lot of time in. But it's what I do. So, a little bit about myself, okay, before um, I talk to you a little bit about what we're going to be doing next year. So, I'm Mr. Harrison, I live in Bradford, and I've been working at Westbourne for quite some years now, um, as you can probably see from the lots of grey in the beard and in the hair. Um, I have a wife, and two children, and a dog. There's my family. My dog, who's a boxer, and the things I like to do. Well, um, I like music. I really like music. And in fact, I'm not very good at playing music. I'm much better at listening to it and appreciating it than playing it. Um, I like football, uh, and in fact, I'm a Leeds United supporter. There we go. And I cannot wait for the football season to start again in the coming weeks. And hopefully we'll get promoted this time. So, year three. What have we got to look forward to? Well, there's lots of things that we're going to be doing in year three. Lots of different topics that we're going to be um, looking at through the course of the year. We're going to be looking at things like light and shadow. We're going to be going right back in time to the ancient Roman uh, ancient Roman times and the Stone Age and we'll be doing lots of work around those, lots of science activities, lots of creative artwork and pieces around that. We're also going to be investigating why we can't eat sweets all the time. Why is that? We're going to be investigating and finding that out and we're also going to be taking a trip across Europe and finding out about the various different countries and places across the continent of Europe. Do you know any places in Europe? Have you ever been to any different places in Europe? Maybe you can tell me later. So, in terms of expectations, the things that I ask of you guys in year three. Now there's only two things that I really ask of anybody in my class. Two things. If you can remember these two things, then you will do very, very well. Not just in my class, but in life and the rest of school. What do you think one of them is? Think about what I talked about a moment ago. It's about being kind. Okay? Kindness is the one thing that I require from every single person in my class. And I think every other teacher will be saying exactly the same sort of thing to their, ch their children as well. Okay, and the good thing about being kind is that every, anyone can do it. Being kind is the easiest thing you can be. Okay, treating people the right way, and that's all I ask in my class is that you are kind and you treat people the right way. Okay, number two, I want you to try your very best. Okay, or whatever it is that we're doing. Okay. So even if there's times where you think, oh, I can't do this, okay, I want you to think you can't do it yet. Okay, I want children who are able to persevere and work independently and build that resilience up, long words, so that 
they can succeed. Okay, just trying your best. Because I'm there to support you. Okay, and if something's really difficult, I can help you. Okay, and the great thing about not knowing everything, you're always learning. Always learning. Okay, I've been spending some of my time in my loft doing some of my own learning. Okay, I've been doing some training courses and things. Um, and so I'm always learning. Okay, and I sometimes find things trickier. But I persevere and I keep going. And that's all that I ask from you guys as you come into year three. So I'm going to finish off now with a little bit of a joke. Okay. Why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use honeycombs. Do you have any good jokes? Maybe you guys can have a little think over the summer. Maybe you can think about any good jokes that you might want to share with me. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that one. And uh, have a wonderful summer. Okay, keep safe. Look after one another. And I really am looking forward to seeing you guys come September.